brand new book out called Now I'm Catching On, My Life On and Off the Air. What led to you writing a book like this? I, I really don't know. Uh, but uh, Penguin got in touch with me after they saw some some feature that Stephen Brunt had done for Sportsnet and uh, on a, a hockey night in Canada, and they liked it and said maybe a book might be in the making. So we had a meeting and another meeting and talked it over and kind of persuaded me to give it a go. And Stephen said he'd come along, and we got together, Stephen and I, and worked away, and here we are. How did a young man from St. John's, Newfoundland, get started in broadcasting hockey games? Well, it, it, it was a, just a, a pure fluke. Uh, one of our classmates, uh, uh, we just finished high school, and uh, one of the guys in our class uh, worked at a radio station. He was a technician, and uh, we were all together one night, getting out uh, 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 Pepsi and donuts and whatever, just talking hockey and baseball and like guys do, and and uh, we were invited to go down to the to the station where he worked and just uh, do some recordings after they shut down. They used to shut down at one o'clock at the time, so we did. And at that very moment, that that week, the the station was actually looking for uh, another announcer. They wanted to add another announcer to their staff. And one of the senior announcers was there. They shut down and, and heard me uh, play around with recordings. And uh, he said, uh, you got to come in and audition for this job. Which is ridiculous, but uh, unbelievable. If I were to get one like that. So we did. After all the auditions were listened to, the owner decided that they, uh, he'd like to give me a shot. He had three months probation thing and the usual stuff. And well, there you go. Got the new job on the air. Mm. Wow. $45 a week. Pretty good. Hall of Fame broadcaster uh, Bob Cole joining us this afternoon. Uh, Bob, the great Foster Hewitt was a big mentor to you. What's the best advice uh, Mr. Hewitt uh, passed along? I'm not sure if there was one particular uh, piece of advice. He, he talked about many, many things to think about in the game of broadcasting hockey. And uh, Well, one of the things I think uh, I, I remember saying more than any other was that just to think of making the game employable for the fan, whether it's radio or television, you've got to try to find a way to remember saying Bob. I have Reggie Leach coming up next hour. Bob, he's in town tonight for the uh, Indigenous NHL alumni game. You must have a few good stories about the Riverton Rifle. <laughs> it was a great one, I can tell you that. Uh, one of the best. It's great to have Reggie in. Tell him I said hello. I hope he's well.